In this tutorial, you will learn how to create and utilize crop plan layers in the SMS desktop software. Crop plans can be used for several different things. They can be used as a form of record keeping as far as what products and rates were applied in each field. This is particularly useful when applying flat rates across an entire field or when an operation wasn't recorded with a field display. Once a crop plan has been created, it can be exported out as a prescription and used in a variety of different controllers. There can be attributes associated with a crop plan, for example, yield goal, build goal, soil, pH, N, P, and K, and these can be used in equations used to make variable rate prescriptions. This is particularly useful when each field has a specific yield goal or build goal for pH, N, P, or K. These can also be utilized in other functions such as comparison analysis and correlation analysis. Before starting, verify that all fields that crop plans are going to be generated for have an official set field boundary. This can be checked by clicking on the field name in the management tree and seeing a black outline around the field. If this is not the case, check out the video in the card above to learn more about how to create and set field boundaries. After confirming your field boundaries are set, go to File, New, and Crop Plans. On the Select Crop Plans Operation and Products dialog box, start by selecting the operation that best meets the operation you wish to create. For this example, we are using Fertilizing Dry Crop Plan. Then select the appropriate products. For this example, select DAP. If you have multiple products that you want to create crop plans for, use the control key on the keyboard to select multiple products at one time. Once you have the desired product selected, click Add. The operation of products should now appear under Selected Operations Products. If you need to add additional crop plan operations, repeat the previous three steps as necessary and then click OK. On the Define Crop Plan dialog box, verify that the correct operation and product appear in the drop down menus at the top of the window. For this example, verify that Fertilizing Dry Crop Plan and DAP are selected. Next, select the appropriate fields from the available fields list and click Add. Multiple fields can be selected if needed. For this example, we're going to select Rower Smith and add over all the fields. Verify that the correct fields appear under the assigned fields list. Fields that were accidentally selected can be removed by highlighting and selecting the Remove button. Under Set Target Date for Selected Operation and Product, enter the date range for when this product will be or was applied. The date range entered will now show up in the calendar viewer in the SMS Advanced software, and by adding the date, this operation and product can be included in financial reports. Enter in the appropriate information for the attributes under the Set Attribute Defaults for Selected Operation and Product. Some information that can be entered here are description, target rate, yield goal, and build goals for soil pH, N, P, and K. These attribute values can be referenced when writing equations, comparison analysis, agronomic analysis, and other analysis functions. Repeat the previous five steps for additional operations and products and click Next. Verify the appropriate year is selected on the Management Selection dialog box. For this example, we will use the year this operation occurred. Click Finish. After saving the crop plans, you will find them in the fields and year you have previously selected. If you would like to edit or add additional information to the crop plans, create a new map, right click, and select Edit Layer. In the Edit Layer window, you can further define the layer by using the Divide tools to add different target rates, goals, and even products. When finished, save the layer and close. Now you will be able to create and utilize crop plans in the SMS desktop software. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.